Hey there, welcome back everyone. Wanted to do a quick uh, follow-up video to uh, the CO2 mic testing method that I, uh, video I put up a few days back. Um, had a lot of questions about it and some people even have some, or have had some concerns. Uh, and so I want to refer everyone over to uh, Scientific Beekeeping and uh, Randy Oliver and to read his entire article in its, in, in its entirety if you would. Uh, for those of you that are interested, uh, I want to read a few excer excerpts from it uh, to just kind of give you an idea of where I'm coming from and, and some of my thoughts on it. Uh, but in addition to that, uh, I want to stick around to the end of the video if you would. I'm going to give away one of these um, units with the screen already embedded in it and um, this particular unit right here. Uh, but we'll talk about that towards the end and, and show you how you can be entered to win. Real quick, Randy, when he was testing this, he tested a device out of Europe that was called the Varroa Tester. And uh, in, in general, he, he was not very pleased with it. Um, he followed the instructions exactly the way it was said on the, or how it was put on the the unit itself and didn't have nearly as much success as a uh, homemade one that, that Randy used. So I'm going to read real quick to you a couple of things and then I just really encourage you if you are interested in this go read the article in its entirety. Uh, it's very informative and it will give you a, a really good idea uh, whether you want to pursue this or not. Okay, So here's one of the expert excerpts. He says after finishing or after we finished collecting data for 24 samples and being disappointed by the amount of work required to remove the mites from the cylinder and decided for comparison with the Varroa tester to shake a few samples using our standard solo cup alcohol wash cups but using CO2 instead of the alcohol. These worked great. Far fewer mites left in the cups, better drop through the screens, easier to shake, no splashing, and less weight than with alcohol. Easier to count, and again, unharmed bees. I was really excited and started figuring out how we were going to switch over to using CO2 instead of alcohol. Now he goes on further into the article and talks about some of the data that they pulled up from it and I'd encourage you to go take a look at that because uh, there were some mixed um, uh, test results. And, uh, but in the end, this is, this is what uh, Randy said and, and actually another ex expert that uh, he refers to. Again, this is an excerpt from this article. He said, Although I was disappointed with the Varroa tester, that particular device he was, he was testing, have I given up on CO2 for mite monitoring? Hardly. With experimentation by beekeepers, the 70% recovery rate might well be improved on. And although a 70% recovery rate would not be acceptable for scientific data, it's enough for general monitoring purposes. Another expert concurs. After performing my testing, I found that Dr. Ralph Buschler of Germany had written about the Varroa tester in 2015. He also found that it was not accurate enough for our scientific purposes, but felt that the method, if used every few weeks, had practical value for monitoring whether, whether colonies needed treating or treatment. He also suggested that tinkerers build their own cheaper versions. And then Randy went on to put out a challenge to us as beekeepers. He said, I'm putting out the challenge. Let's figure out how to make CO2 work for my monitoring. I've demonstrated how to do the testing for confirmation of efficacy. Let's work together to come up with a better method. Send me your improvements and I'll update that, this article at scientificbeekeeping.com. So, real quick, a, a few pros and cons, the things that I found as I've been doing it, and I do like the method. I, don't get me wrong, I still do the alcohol wash um, periodically throughout the year, depending on the time of the year, and I'm just supplementing with this uh, particular method. But some of the pros, it's very quick and it's very easy. 
simple, not hard to, to do at all. It doesn't kill the bees. You don't have to shake it nearly as hard as you do the sugar shake uh, to dislodge the mites. Um, and if you're doing it right, uh, waiting about 20 seconds after shooting the CO2 in there, it does give you uh, better results. I've, I've found that with what I did. Um, some of the cons. Um, it's not as accurate as the alcohol wash, and it, 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 I don't think that necessarily will ever get it to be quite that accurate, but it's accurate enough for the purposes of, of uh, the way I test for mites in conjunction with alcohol washes, but then also uh, how that then goes into my treatment schedule. Um, it's certainly as, as accurate as a sugar shake in my opinion. Another con is your equipment, it can get a little sticky and uh, not a big deal. I mean, it's really easy to uh, solve with a little bit of soapy water or even some uh, diluted alcohol, which he talks about in, in the uh, article as well. And then the lastly, these canisters, um, they, are, they do have pretty high pressure. And so when you, you're putting it down in here uh, in the hole, straight down on the bees. If you pull the trigger too hard, it can really slam the bees down to the bottom, and so you want to be really careful. With that in mind, I've decided to change where I have my input hole. Rather than on the top where it shoots down onto the bees, I'm actually going to put it into the side here of the unit so that it shoots across and not directly down onto the bees, just in case I pull the trigger too hard, because um, it can be a little bit tricky. So those are my thoughts on uh, the CO2 method. I do love it, and uh, I did, as you saw in the previous video, it does pull mites down. It does show you if there are mites in your colony. Uh, it's certainly not as accurate as alcohol, but it does let me know if I need to treat, and that is the biggest uh, uh, and most important thing to me. Um, now for the, the giveaway. What I would like to do, I'm going to give one of these these actual units here that I get, it'll come with this embedded in it already, the screen, and this little unit right here. Now I'm not going to ship the canister, okay? You'll have to go get a canister and it needs the, it takes the threaded part, if you remember correctly. So you gotta get these canisters with the thread along the, the top part there. Uh, I don't wanna ship that, but it's gonna come with all of this right here that you see. Um, so how do you win it? Or how do you get entered in the, the contest or the drawing? Uh, of course you need to, to go to my YouTube channel, like this video, and uh, subscribe to my channel if you haven't already, and then simply share it, put in the comments where uh, you shared it for me. And if you do that, you'll be entered in the drawing. We'll do the, uh, we'll announce the winner in probably two weeks or so. Um, thanks for stopping by. We'll talk to you again real soon. Have a great day.